it's me, Tamika Isaac Devine, attorney, city councilwoman, public speaker, best-selling author, success strategist, possibility activator, and founder of the Possibilities Institute. And I wanted to share a message with you today um, about the importance of having a good name and a good reputation. Um, there have been two um, instances that have happened to me recently that really placed in my heart that this is a message that I wanted to share with you, my friends and my followers. And hopefully this message will help you think about your interactions with people on a day-to-day -day basis um, and whether or not you are um, showing up every day um, in the manner in which you want people to know you and think about you um, long after you're gone. And so um, the first situation um, was one that happened fairly recently. And I had a young lady who um, I know, don't know her really, really well, but um, have interacted with her um, for the last few years. Um, previously, she had a pretty prominent position in the community, uh, very well known, um, had some, some authority in this position. And um, like I said, I've interacted with her through that position, never had a problem, always a, a great interaction with her. Um, but now she is no longer in that position and has really fell on some hard times and, and really um, is trying to do something else. And so uh, this person reached out to me um, thinking that maybe I could help her and she um, needed something from someone that she thought that I knew and could put in a good word from her for her. So, of course, like I said, I never had a problem with her. We've interacted on a regular basis, pretty, pretty friendly. And I had no problem calling and reaching out to somebody for her. Well, I did this. I reached out to the person to see if they could help her with something. And I will tell you that I was really shocked with the reaction or the response that I got from this person that I called. Um, this person's interaction with the young lady I was calling about was not similar to mine, was not positive. Um, apparently, uh, when this person was in um, the other position or when she interacted with this person that now she needs something from, um, it was not pleasant. Um, she, what I was, what I received is that um, she was, she looked down on people. Uh, she wasn't um, somebody that people could uh, depend on to help other folks. And, you know, it was just really um, a little disheartening a little bit because again, this was not the interaction that I had. And it certainly wasn't the person that I saw every day or not every day, but when I interacted with her. Um, and it was interesting because when I was talking to my husband about it, he said, well, you know, maybe the way she treated you and interacted with you was a little bit different. Maybe she felt like you, she needed something from you or because of your position or something, she felt, you know, she didn't want to act that way with you. And so that is, um, was interesting to me because I felt like, um, you know, if this is her interaction with me, why is that not her interaction with other people? And so um, now when she really needs something from somebody else, the reputation that she has with this person is not something that this person wants to help with. And so it really is a lesson that, you know, you need to, to show up the same all the time. Be very genuine. Um, you know, I, I will say that when you interact with people and are genuine and you're the same, then it doesn't matter where you are um, or when somebody when you might need something, they're always going to remember you for the good person that you are. So never, never, never underestimate the power of having a good name um, and having um, and, and the having a bad name and a bad reputation and what that can prohibit you from doing in the future when you might need something. The second story was um, it was really about me, but it was something that really touched my heart, and I have to say it really um, was special to me because. Um, I had um, a young lady who reached out to me. I don't know her, um, didn't know her before, um, but she's trying to do something in the community. And as I was talking to her, um, or she uh, actually called me and reached out to me, didn't know me, um, and uh, said that she had been talking to people in the community, needing help with a certain situation. And say she talked to 10 people, out of those 10 people, eight told her she needed to call me. And she would say that, well, I don't know her. She doesn't know me. Who, who's to say she's going to help me? And what she told me and what she shared with me was that 
every person she said that to was like, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, Tamika is very genuine. She's down to earth. It doesn't matter if you call her, she'll answer your call. She'll help you. She'll do what she can. Um, just reach out to her. And I'm not saying that to pat myself on the back and talk about how great I am, but I'm saying that because it really, um, meant a lot that, you know, these people that I didn't know that she was going to tell me what they said, um, were so complimentary and more so more over than that is it really meant a lot. That that's the reputation that I have garnered with people because I don't want people to ever think that I'm unapproachable, that I won't help that, um, you know, because I might have a title or be in a certain position that I'm not, you know, the, a real person, I'm not genuine, you know? And so for me, I, I like that, you know, Tamika is Tamika. And I always tell people that no matter if I am at the grocery store, at a PTO meeting, at city hall, in the courtroom, I'm always going to show up the same way. I'm always going to have a smile on my face unless someone ticks me off. Um, but I'm always going to have a smile on my face and I'm always going to be um, trying to help somebody because that's what I'm about. And I like um, the feeling that I can do something to help empower somebody and to help somebody else. And so it really meant a lot that this person had gotten a lot of feedback from other people that it really alleviated any fears or hesitation she may have had about reaching out to me. And then she reached out to me and then I'm, I'm able to really see what I can do to help her. And so those two stories I hope are something that can help you really just think about how do you show up every day? How do you treat people? How are your interactions with people? If you answer any of those questions and you have to kind of uh, hesitate and say, well, I may not have treated that person all that right. You need to think about that and try and correct that. But always remember that the way you show up today and the people that you interact with when things are going well are the same people that you may need when things aren't going well. So don't you want them to have a good reputation, have a good thought about you and you'd have a good reputation that precedes you so that they want to help you. They want to cheer for you. They want to be happy for you. Um, and you know, if that is not the way you're showing up, then think about that. Um, and think about what you might could do to change, uh, that perception and that interaction that you're having with folks. So hopefully that helps you. Um, I look forward to interacting with you some more. Um, and remember, as always, if you want to interact with me some more, you can follow me on Facebook at Tamika Isaac Devine or on Twitter at T.I. Devine, or I'm also on Periscope at T.I. Devine and on LinkedIn at Tamika Isaac Devine. And then I also have my YouTube channel, Tamika Devine. But until next time, see you later. God bless. Love you.